Hello and welcome back to the Football Rundown. Today we're going to be discussing Stockport County's day take on Morecambe in the League 2 at Edgley Park tomorrow. Potentially a massive game for Stockport County. A potentially a game where Stockport County could secure promotion to League 1 and could potentially secure uh, the title tomorrow if results go our way. If Wrexham lose, Mansfield lose and Stockport County are able to beat Morecambe then Stop County could well secure the title tomorrow, but promotion is more likely than that. Um, so obviously we're taking on Morecambe. They travel to Edgley Park. Uh, they've found, a di- obviously, a difficult week for them. They have been hit with a, a three points deduction in League 2. So let's have a little bit of a look at what, you know, what that's all about. So earlier this week, the EFL uh, released a statement on their website talking about Morecambe and how they've been hit with a three points deduction. So we're just going to have a little bit of a read of what that is all about. Uh, the EFL statement, Morecambe Football Club, an independent disciplinary commission has determined that Morecambe Football Club has set a, a, well, are to be deducted three points from the 23-24 League 2 table for failing to adhere to the terms of an agreed decision. The club had previously received a three-point deduction to be suspended until the 30th of June 2024 after, admit, uh, after admitting a breach of EFL regulations for failing to pay its players' wages on or around the 28th of March 2023, the club's ultimate beneficial owner was also required to deposit an amount equal to 125% of the forecast monthly wage bill in a designated club account. Following the failure to keep the account at the required levels, the suspended three-point deduction has now been activated. Owner Mr Jason Whittingham has also been fined 10000 payable immediately whilst a suspended fine of 20000 has also been imposed to be activated on the 31st of May 2024 unless he complies in full uh, with his obligation to replenish in the deposit account under the terms of the agreed decision dated 17th of August 2023. So there we have it. I mean, I'm no you know financial expert or, or anything like that, but I want to hear people's thoughts on that, um, whether you think it's right or wrong. Obviously, it sounds like the players obviously haven't been paid, so I think that it's quite rightly uh, that they have been deducted points from my point of view. But I think it's a shame for the football club because it's not... Um, it doesn't re- represent the players that are playing for the club at the moment or the fan base. It's not anything they've done wrong. And the players will be really, really frustrated because they've worked hard trying try to get as many points on the board this season as possible. And obviously, to have that three-point deduction, you know, playoff places were, was unlikely anyway, but it's certainly very, very uh, difficult to happen now. I'd say near enough impossible now. So there's, you know, their hopes for this season are pretty much over. In terms of what they're playing for at Edgy Park tomorrow, I'd say very little, but possibly pride. And, it, you know, given how you look at it, are they going to, you know, are they, are they going to come to Edgy Park tomorrow more motivated to get a result because of the bad week they've had? Or will they be more likely to feel unmotivated knowing that they're not really playing for very much? Depends on, uh, it depends on the mentality of their players, I suppose. But maybe some Morecambe fans can give me a bit of insight as to what you think the reaction will be like on the pitch at Edgy Park tomorrow from Morecambe. But just before we uh, finish on that topic, we also got to talk about uh, a little bit more unrest around Morecambe because the you know the club captains called out the ownership as well here. So we have a quick look at this statement as well. It's all been kicking off at Morecambe this week. To Farron Rawson, Morecambe captain calls for owner to sell club. Morecambe captain uh, Ferran uh, Rawson has called on owner Jason Whittingham to sell the club after the League 2 side were deducted three points. The EFL deducted the points on Thursday for failing to adhere to an agreed decision and imposed on August 2023 after the club failed to pay players on time. Um, so he said here, my message would be, if your heart's not in it and it's not making any, uh, sense anymore, then don't hold on to it. Rawson told BBC Radio Lancashire, he is where he is because he's done well, but make it easier for someone to come in and give the lads a chance to build and kick on. On the pitch, we've just fallen short, but for the club to grow and sustain, I think the owner needs to make the right decision. He added, you're seeing it too many times in the Football League and higher. Good clubs with a good fan base and good people around the place are the ones who get affected. If the right decisions aren't made at the top, then other people suffer for it. Something needs to happen for this club to kick on or just or just sustain consistently. Defender Rawson uh, said he had become accustomed to off-field issues in his near two years with the Lancashire side. Being honest, I think it's a shambles, he said. I've been at a club for going on two years and I don't think we've been through a six-month period without something coming up. All I can say is that from my behalf and the lads and the staff is that we're disappointed, frustrated and annoyed we've put our bodies on the line to try and do something special this season and people upstairs are taking it away from us. It shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't happen. So very forefront in his view there and I suppose some people would say that it's a difficult situation for him. Uh, you know, a player of the club, I suppose, not being paid his wages but you know, in ordinary circumstances, 
the person who pays your wages, would you really be going so public and criticising that person? But obviously, he feels very, very frustrated on well, personally, but also on behalf of his, uh, you, you know, his teammates and obviously the staff he works around the club with him. And I think that he sent a very strong message there, and I think it'll have a lot of Morecambe fans on board with him, on, uh, in, in, you know, in regards to that. So I think it's very interesting. Just before we uh, finish today, he's actually given his thoughts ahead of the game tomorrow as well. Just before we finish on that, Rawson has also talked about the fact that this could galvanise the side as they look to uh, finish the season strongly, albeit they've not really got too much to play for now in League Two. This is what he's had to say on uh, in regards to that. We've got a job to do, and we look, uh, we're doing something we love. The massive thing is self pride and for the fans. It's not their fault. We shouldn't be going out there and not trying because of what is happening outside the club or at the top of the club. But nobody can control, he said. What a game. Obviously, they're done outstanding this season. So I'm at Stockport County. And all credit to them. We're going there to stop the party. I certainly hope not. One thing about these lads is that we're fighters and we'll give it a right good go. If anything, it's good that we have this game this weekend because we can let our frustrations out. I mean, hopefully, them frustrations aren't let out in terms of injuring you know any of our players because we've still got some important games ourselves but I agree you know I take the sentiment there and I think that obviously um the message he sent as a captain there it's the kind of message that if my club was in that situation I'd probably want my captain to come out and speak like that and show a bit of passion show a bit of desire show a bit of care around the club which is obviously not felt from the uh, the person uh, at the top of it all at the moment at Morecambe Football Club but look we'll have to wait and see what happens with Morecambe they will be in League 2 next season they can't really get relegated, they can't move up. So they will be in League 2 next season. Now let's see how they shake up things in the summer. So obviously we spoke about the points deduction then for Morecambe. We spoke about a little bit of off-field struggles for them at the moment. But let's get into the match preview. Let's talk about what's going to be happening tomorrow. Not not you know not in the summer, not in the near future. Stockport County, of course, currently top of the table. And they'll be taking on Morecambe, who find themselves 14th in the table, of course, that points deduction that they've been slapped with this week. Uh, the last meeting between the two sides finished 1 1 on the 9th of December. Uh, Michael Mellon took the lead for Morecambe in the 70th minute. I believe he's now on loan at Dundee uh, over in Scotland. Uh, but of course, Cal Wotton would equalise in the 87th minute to spoil the party for Morecambe and gain a point for the Hatters. On that day, County had 73% possession with 11 shots versus their four. So quite a controlling game from Stock County's point of view. And they'll be hoping to have a similar type, uh, you know, a similar type amount of possession in the game at Edgley Park tomorrow. You'd imagine that's pretty much how County play. We like to have the ball. We like to be in control. We like to dominate the opposition. And I'm sure we will do that tomorrow. And obviously we did that in the previous game. We just couldn't get over the line with our finishing, it looks like. The last five league games then for both sides... County have won five in the last five. Only Doncaster have uh, matched that record in League Two of the last five games. They've been in brilliant form. I think it's, you know, it's put them uh, a lot higher up the table than I would have expected Doncaster to, to have been, as we all know. If you've seen the match, uh, sorry, the league predictions that begin the season and even mid-season predictions, uh, Morecambe have two wins and three defeats. Uh, their last win was a, a 2 1 win over Barrow on April the 1st. So, as we approach this game tomorrow against Morecambe, there may be a few familiar names for people to recognise. Let's just go through a few names on that list. Obviously, Jacob Davenport is a player that county fans will recognise the name of. A former City Academy player joined the Hatters on a short term deal last season. Brandon Barker is another Manchester City Academy player. Now, age 27, he's played for Preston. Rangers, Oxford United, Reading before joining Morecambe this year. Next up, Jordan Slew, 31 years of age. He's played for Sheffield United, Blackburn Rovers, Stevenage, Oldham, Rotherham, Ross County, Port Vale, Cambridge United, Chesterfield, Plymouth Argyle, I'm still going, Rochdale, Radcliffe Borough, Boston United, Ashton United, Morecambe, FC Halifax Town and then back to Morecambe. He's had some career in, in the Football League and even lower than that. Uh, he's had, uh, obviously, promotion with Plymouth Argyle in 16-17 from League 2, where they finished runners-up that season. He scored eight goals in League 2 this season. So we're just going to have a quick look as well at Morecambe's record against the top seven sides so far this season. Stop County is the last game they've got to play against the top seven opposition this season. Uh, so how many games have they played? They've played 13 matches against top seven opposition so far this season. They've scored 14, conceded 24, just the one clean sheet. They've taken 17 points in them games as well with five wins two draws and six defeats and here is Morecambe's results against top seven opposition uh, so far this season they started against Mansfield with a 3-0 defeat then they lost to, uh, to Barrow 1-0 Wrexham 6-0 then they managed to get a draw with Stop County which is their first point against a top seven opposition in the season that came on the 9th of December 
Uh, then they lost 3 1 to Morecambe on the, on the uh, sorry, Morecambe lost 3 1 to MK Dons on the 23rd of December. Uh, then they gained another point against uh, top seven opposition with a point away at Mansfield Town. Morecambe then managed to beat MK Dons on the 20th of January, and that came in with, with a 2 1 win to the away side that day. Another 2 1 win away from against Crawley a few weeks later. Uh, then also a 3 2 win over Crewe. Away from home again, 2nd of March, with a 1-0 win over Crawley Town, 1-0 on the 5th of March, before losing 3-1 to Wrexham at home on the 9th of March, gaining 3 points again with a 2-1 win over Barrow on, on April 1st, before losing on the 9th of April, 1-0 at home to Crew Alexandra. So they've had mixed uh, results, I suppose, against top 7 opposition so far this season. 5 wins, 2 draws, 6 defeats, very, very even really when you look at it. Uh, but obviously you'd expect, even though they drew with Stop County earlier in the season, you'd expect this would be a bit of a bit of a tougher game with them, uh, a bit of a tougher game for them. Sorry, uh, given the fact that Stop County got some brilliant momentum behind them, as I say, five wins in the last five in League Two. We know obviously it's a day where Stop County could well secure promotion. We know it's going to be one hell of an atmosphere as well, and it's just about uh, with stuff obviously being not not so good off the pitch as well. How is that going to affect the mood of the Morecambe players? How is that going to affect the mood of the county players, knowing that there is an element of pressure on them to do, you know to do the job tomorrow? So we're just going to have a quick look at the League Two table going into tomorrow's game. Obviously, Stop County are top of the table by four points on eighty three points. Wrexham, of course, with a game uh, with a game uh, already played over Stop County forty three games. Where Stop County played just forty two. So have Mansfield as well, just forty two for them as well. MK Dons course played 43 games sat in fourth place two points by Mansfield but they both face one another tomorrow in League 2 which will be a very interesting game and as I say if results go in a certain direction Mansfield could well lose and drop out of the uh, automatic positions tomorrow which would be very interesting um, as we get nearer and near to the end of the season uh, we're just going to have a look at a few hypotheticals as well in a second of how the table could uh, work out over the next few games but we'll just go to the bottom half of the table where of course more can find themselves in 14th after that three point deduction uh, very interesting to see but not County who the opposition we have next or uh, just behind Morecambe on 55 points Accrington as well who we also face next Saturday on 54 points it's currently sat 17th in the table interesting at the bottom as well where Colchester uh, are just one point from safety but with two games yet to play could be very interesting I think that Forest Green would probably uh, be relegated officially tomorrow as they do take on Wrexham uh, away from home I'm pretty sure um, as we look at Stop County's remaining fixtures as well Stop County of course got Morecambe tomorrow Notts County on Tuesday Accrington next Saturday and of course Wrexham uh, two weeks on Saturday as well which will be very interesting to see whether or not that's going to be an important game or not for Stop County because with the way it's going at the moment, Stop County could well have this title sealed up before that final game. We're just going to have a quick look as well here. We, we spoke about the fact we'll do hypothetical tables in a second to work out how many points we need to secure the title for League 2 this season. We're just going to have a look, look at the points by champions in League 2 over the last five seasons. So, of course, we're going to start with the 1920 season, which was a COVID season, uh, which was finished early where Swindon won the league with 69 points. Obviously, I think they played just 36 matches of that season before it was called off so 69 points is the lowest in the last five seasons obviously but we know it's a covid season um cheltenham with 82 points sealed the title in the 2021 season forest green sealed the uh, league two title with 84 points in the 21 22 season Leighton Orient, of course ran away with it last season securing 91 points to win the title that was of course last season 22 23 and uh, you know as it stands at the moment stop county 83 points and they are currently top. Haven't secured the title yet, but are likely to over the next few games. So we just look at the League 2 table. If the top uh, top three teams want the remaining fixtures, Stockport County, of course, will be on 95 points. Wrexham will be on 88 points. And Mansfield Town will be, of course, on 88 points also. Potentially, they could be swapping places depending on goals difference, which I haven't checked, to be fair. Um, but Stop County, if they keep winning the games, it's as simple as that. We keep winning, we'll win the league. But obviously, we know it's not always as easy as that. And obviously, we can drop points where we at least expect it, hopefully not tomorrow. So we're just going to have a quick look as well. If both, uh, sorry, if all three teams were to win the next two matches, um, that would secure the title for Stop County. Just two more wins. And regardless of what other teams do around us, we win the title because we would be on 44 matches played with 89 points. Wrexham would have a game yet to play, which would of course be the final game of the season against Stop County 
Even if they won that, they'd get as many as 88 points to finish the season with, which of course would be one point short of the title. And Mansfield Town would be on 44 points. Uh, sorry, 44 games played on 82 points. The most they could get is also 88 points, which would leave them a point behind uh, Stop County, who, who would be clear to win the title. So let's now have a look at this then. We've still got the possibility that if Wrexham were to lose tomorrow, Mansfield were to lose tomorrow, and Stop County were to win, what would the League 2 title look like? Then, um, as of tomorrow evening, let's have a quick look. Then, 43 matches would have been played for Stockport County. Wrexham, of course, would have played 44. Mansfield Town would also be on 43 matches played, but the points difference would be too hard for any of them two teams below us to match up to with the games they've got left. Uh, Stop County would obviously continue to sit top of the table on 86 points. Wrexham with 79 points, the most they could get up to would be 85. And Mansfield Town, again, if they even won the rest of their games, defeat tomorrow would mean the most they could get would, again, be 85 points, which would mean that Stop County would secure the title tomorrow, which is unlikely, but um, is possible. Um, Mansfield take on MK Dons away from home tomorrow, and that could be a difficult game for them. And to be fair, that is one game that I could see. If Mansfield are to lose a game for the rest of the season, that's probably the game to lose. So it is possible that Mansfield could rule themselves out of the title tomorrow. But I think Wrexham, they've got Forest Green at home, I believe. I think they'll win that, and I think they'll keep themselves in the title race going into Tuesday. Just before we end this as well, a few people have asked me recently how to sort of keep up to date with the channel. How you know where can I find other social medias? Where, what you know, what's your Twitter handle, things like that. So we're just going to put it up on the screen here. Uh, so if you want to keep up with the channel, want to follow it in on other social platforms as well, you can check here on YouTube, of course, on Twitter, which of course is X, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and of course there are more in the description below. So do go and check out any of them if you're interested in keeping up with the channel further as well. But I'm quite happy with that, to be honest. I think that tomorrow should be a it should be a win for Stop County. I think the mood in the camp at the moment uh, for both teams. Obviously, County know what's on the line. Morecambe know, but they, you know they haven't got too much to play for. I'm confident with a result tomorrow. I do think we'll win the game. I will go with a two 0 score prediction. We will, of course, have the match day vlog out as well on the channel tomorrow evening as well. Um, might be later, depending on the celebrations afterwards. If we secure promotion tomorrow, which I think we likely will, so I'm quite positive about securing promotion tomorrow. As I say. Do we win the title tomorrow? I'm not too sure. That's it is possible, but it's not. I, I don't see it being that realistic. To be honest, I think that Mansfield could well rule themselves out with a defeat tomorrow, win the title. But Wrexham, I think, will still hang in there. So I think it'll be very interesting um, how it pans out tomorrow. Obviously, obviously, it's going to be an unbelievable atmosphere. I'm very much looking forward to it. So I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on the game tomorrow? How confident are you that we'll, you know, we secure promotion? How confident are you that we can secure the title within the next two matches as well? Like I said, I want to get all your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks to everyone who's supported the channel over the course of this season as well. Don't forget to like the video, of course. Subscribe if you're new as well. And uh, as I say, thanks for watching, everyone.